and a very very good afternoon to all my dear students of standard 5th hope everyone is fine and safe today in the english we will start a new lesson in the communicative english book 5 that is lesson number 8 all of you will open your textbooks on page number 84 and write today's date and class work 8 1 2021 lesson number 8 our bones the name itself suggests that we are going to talk about the bones in the human body as you can see this picture which shows the skeleton a human skeleton as you all might have studied in the science that bones give us shape or the bones give shape to our body without bones our body will be a lump of the mass we can, it won't have any definite shape so how important are bones in our body that we are going to read in this lesson and what care should be taken to protect our bones for from breaking because many a times we might have seen that if you fall your bones broke break then the reason is that the bones are weak so they break very fast as you fall because of the weight of your body or some other reason when you fall or you get hurt uh, hit by something that time also the uh, the bones break so dear children in this lesson we are going to study about the importance of our bro uh, uh, the bones in our body and how to take care of that also now first we will read the starter kit choose the right word for each blank bones shapeless brittle and glass bones like glass are brittle but while broken bones can be mended broken glass can't be mended without bones our body would be a shapeless lump now here the words are given bones shapeless brittle and glass now what is the uh, bones are compared with the glass that our body or the bones of our body are brittle like glass that means it can break easily as the glass breaks easily the same way our bones are also brittle and it can be broken very easily but what they say is that the broken bones can be mended but with the help of the surgery or with the plasters that we apply on the broken part of our body we can mend the bones but the glass cannot be mended if a glass break we cannot mend the glass and without bones our body will be shapeless that means there will be no definite shape of our body as right now we have a definite shape but if bones are not there then our body will be like an amoeba which is a shapeless creature now we'll start with get set so from the lesson starts from here nadia loved playing on the monkey bars during she the recess period one day she was going up the bars she slipped and fell down now here there's a picture of the children playing in the school during the recess time this is the monkey bar or the monkey ladder as we say one girl named nadia she was very fond of climbing the monkey ladder and she used to play on that during the recess time or during the lunch break in the school but one day she slipped down the monkey ladder and fell down moving on to page number 85 Oh my arms hurt cried Nadia the other children at once ran to tell Nadia's class teacher the teacher became worried and rang up Nadia's parents now all the children who were playing around in the recess the Uh, they all ran towards nadia and they informed nadia's class teacher that she had fallen down from the monkey ladder because nadia cried so loudly that she hurt her arms she cried like that oh uh, my arms are hurt that means she had hurt her arms when she fell so the teacher was also worried and she rang up the nadia's parents nadia's father came in his car and took nadia to hospital the doctor took an x ray of nadia's arm my child your arm is broken and the doc said the doctor he showed nadia the x ray of her arm nadia could see the broken bone 
now nadia's father came and she took he took nadia to the hospital directly from the school there the doctor took an x ray of the nadia's arm dear children you all know what is an x ray this is see this is the x ray of the bones that means it, uh, in front of machine it is a x ray machine in front of which you stand then the whole body skeleton you can see which part of the body is broken or not or is there any problem related to any part of the body that can be seen in the x ray the type of machine in which there are certain type of rays are emitted or passed through our body that the uh, images of that with the help of that rays the images of our internal organs of the body can be seen on a plastic uh, on a plate and then there is a plastic sheet in that which the image is transferred and it is given to us so that is an x ray you might have seen the x ray machines in the hospitals if you have gone sometimes with your lung infection or like that that time also doctor tells for an x ray so here the doctor took an x ray of nadia's arm where she uh, in which she was hurt then doctor said that your arm is broken and he showed that x ray to nadia and nadia could see her bone broken clearly in that x ray the doctor put a plaster cast on nadia's arm it will get better in a few days said the doctor the broken ends will join together again then your mended arm will be as strong as ever was then the doctor put a plaster cast that means it is a mold made out of plaster of paris it is a material from which the mold that means the shape of a of the broken arm jaise jaise ki hath mein chot lagi hai to hath ke jaise shape mein pura usko mold kiya jata hai plaster of paris ko aur usko jo hai hath mein lagaya jata hai jisse ki jo broken bone hai wo andar jud jaye aur bilkul hile na wo plaster of paris se kya hota hai pura aapke hath ke upar acche se baith jata hai jisse ki aapka arm jo hai jud jayega and doctor said that in the few days your arm will be um, as uh, it was earlier before it broke that means you can freely use your arm without any problem nadia took her x-ray to school the next day she showed to her friends in the class she also showed her the plaster cast she told them that what the doctor had told about her arm now the next day the very next day only the nadia went to school again she when she went to school she carried with her the x-ray of her broken arm and she uh, showed them to the uh, to her friends and also the plaster that was um, casted on her hand broken arm and she told everything what the doctor told to her about her arms now dear children you can see here the skeleton entire human skeleton is there this is your thigh bone this is your tail bone hip bone back bone this is the entire back bone rib cage arm bones then wrist bone this is the this part is wrist bone then this is your collar bone shoulder so this weight is given these are the fingers and this is your knee cap so this is the entire structure of the human body and this is the very important the skull which protects our brain ye hamare jo skull hota hai wo hamare brain ko protect karta hai so nadia told everything what doctor told her also about her broken arm now her teacher mrs das asked nadia how she was feeling nadia said that she was feeling much better then the teacher told the class more about the bones then next her next day when she went was went in the class and there was the one teacher named mrs das then she asked nadia that how was she and then she said she told the whole class up more about more in detail about the bones moving on to page number 86 all of us have bones said the teacher we have about about 200 bones in our body bones make up other uh, our skeleton if we didn't have any bones our body would be saggy or a bean bag the bones in our body help us to move now what did the teacher explain about the bones the teacher said that the bones are very important for our body and nearly we have 200 bones in our body 
our bo uh, body has 200 bones and these bones make up a framework in our body which we call it as skeleton and otherwise our body would like be a saggy or a bean bag matlab ki ek bean bag jaisa ya a cloth bag which is partly filled with dried beans used in many games ek bean bag jo games ke liye use kiya jata hai uske jaisa ya ek bag uh, uh, jo uh, koi ek uh, uh, अंडर वेट या अंडर प्रेशर कोई चीज़ रखी होती है तो कैसी हो जाती है दब के वैसा हमारा बॉडी हो जाएगा सो बोन्स इन अवर बॉडी एंड द बोन्स हेल्प अस टू मूव हमारा जो मूवमेंट होता है वो भी हमारे बोन्स के हेल्प से ही होता है अदरवाइज द मूवमेंट इन आवर बॉडी वुड नॉट हैव बीन पॉसिबल Now there was a bell for the recess. The children ran out to play. After recess, Mrs. Das showed the class a picture of the human skeleton. So after recess again, Mrs. Das came into the class and again started uh, uh, telling about the bones. And then she uh, she uh, she. Uh, showed the class a picture of the human skeleton. Bones can can't bend," said Mrs. Das. "So a skeleton has joints. These joints are like the hinges on a door. With the help of these joints, we can bend our ankles, knees, wrists, and elbows. We have joints in our jaws and in our hips and in our shoulders also. Now, what does uh?" मिसेस दास टोल्ड अबाउट द बोन्स इज दैट बोन्स कांट बेंड मतलब बोन्स जो है वो मुड़ नहीं सकती बेंड नहीं हो सकती इसलिए स्केलेटन जो होता है वहाँ पर देर आर डिफरेंट प्लेसेस वेयर देर आर जॉइंट्स इन द स्केलेटन एज यू हैव सीन इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी दीज आर द दीज आर द जॉइंट्स जैसे रिस्ट बोन है यहाँ पर जॉइंट है इधर एल्बो पे जॉइंट है फिर इधर हिप्स पे है इधर नी पे है शोल्डर पे है सो दीज आर द जॉइंट्स विच हेल्प आवर बॉडी टू डू द मूवमेंट इफ दीज जॉइंट्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट देन आवर बॉडी विल नॉट बी एबल टू मूव बेंड और स्ट्रेच एज वी डू इट नाउ सो देर आर दीज जॉइंट्स हेल्प अस टू डू द मूवमेंट इन अवर बॉडी वी ऑल्सो हैव द जॉइंट्स इन द जॉज एंड ऑल्सो इन अवर हिप जॉइंट एंड अर शोल्डर जॉइंट ऑल्सो जॉइंट्स कहाँ कहाँ पर है एंकल्स में है मतलब एडी के ऊपर है नीज है रिस्ट है और एल्बोज में है ये सारे जगह पर जितने भी पार्ट्स हम जो मूव कर सकते हैं वहाँ सारे जगह पर जो है एल्बोज हैं जहाँ से हम बेंड हो सकते हैं वहाँ सारे जगह पे जो है जॉइंट्स होते हैं दैट इज वाई वी कैन इजिली मूव अवर बॉडी नाउ मिसेस दास टोल्ड द क्लास मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट द बोन्स शी सेड दैट द गुड फूड एंड एक्सरसाइज हेल्प्स अवर बोन्स टू ग्रो एंड टू कीप देम स्ट्रॉन्ग नाउ वट डिट मिसेस दास टोल्ड दैट वी शुड ईट गुड फूड एंड डू द एक्सरसाइज सो दैट आवर बोन्स आर हेल्थी एंड दे ग्रो ग्रो मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग शी एडवाइज द चिल्ड्रेन टू हैव मिल्क एग्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स रेगुलरली इफ यू ईट ऑल द वेजिटेबल्स रेगुलरली इफ यू ड्रिंक मिल्क एंड इफ दो ईट एग्स दे ऑल्सो कैन ईट एग्स टू मेक देयर बॉडी स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज एग्स हैव लॉट ऑफ प्रोटीन इन एग Now it is time for the last bell. As soon as the bell rang, children ran for their homes. I shall always have milk and eggs for the breakfast," said Nadia to her mother. For my lunch and dinner, I shall always have the vegetables. I shall give up uh, my habit of eating fast or junk food. I want to keep my bones strong. When Nadia understood the importance of the milk, uh, eggs, and vegetables, all the different types of vegetables in the in the food, then she uh, thought to herself that now I will always take milk and eggs for the breakfast, and I will eat all the vegetables uh, and uh, to make my body and bones strong. I will stop the eating uh, um, or. I will leave the habit of eating the junk food or the fast food, like the pizzas and burgers and chips and uh, that we eat once in a while. It is okay if you you can eat, but you should not make a practice of eating those things regularly because they don't have any any nutritive value or the nutrition value in that food is very very less. So we should avoid eating those type of food regularly. On the contrary, we should eat more and more of the vegetables and take milk and if those we eat egg, as I told you, should eat. can take x for the breakfast also so that the bones remain strong otherwise if you will not eat vegetables and drink milk then your bones will become brittle and a small 
फॉल कैन ब्रेक योर बोन अगर आपको कहीं भी थोड़ी सी भी चोट लगती है या कहीं आप टकरा जाते हैं या इफ़ यू हिट वे समवेयर तो उससे क्या होगा तुरंत ही आपकी जो है हड्डी जो है वो बोन ब्रेक हो जाएगा लेकिन अगर आपकी बोन्स स्ट्रांग होंगे तो आप जो है आपके बोन्स ईजिली ब्रेक नहीं होंगे सो दैट इज़ वाई टू कीप आर बोन्स हेल्थी ईट लॉट ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स ड्रिंक मिल्क एंड प्ले एक्सरसाइज रेगुलरली प्ले आउट गो आउट एंड प्ले इन द ओपन एरिया इन द ग्राउंड सो दैट यू डू अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वाइल प्लेइंग एंड इफ यू डोंट गो आउट टू प्ले देन डू द एक्सरसाइज एट होम टू कीप योर बॉडी फिट एंड फाइन सो डियर चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ बोन्स इन अवर बॉडी एंड हाउ टू कीप दैम हेल्दी एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग नाव वी मूव ऑन टू द टेक्सुअल एक्सरसाइज पार्ट